Gregor Johann Mendel played a vital role in discovering the laws of heredity. He carried out several hybridization experiments with true breeding pea lines which had sharply contrasting characters. One such experiment was the crossing of a tall and a dwarf pea plant. Since the cross was between plants that differed in a single trait, that is, height. In this case, Mendel called it a monohybrid cross. Furthermore, Mendel called the tall and the dwarf plants in this experiment the parental or the pea generation. After the cross between the tall and dwarf plants, Mendel collected the seeds and planted them to produce the first hybrid called the F1 generation or the first filial of plants. He found that all the plants in the F1 generation were always tall, like one of the parents, and the dwarfness had disappeared. Mendel conducted similar experiments with other pairs of traits and made certain observations. Every single time, he found that the F1 hybrid resembled only one of the parents, while the other parent's trait was missing. To explore this further, Mendel self-pollinated the F1 hybrids to produce a second hybrid generation of plants, known as the F2 generation, or second filial of plants. Interestingly, this time, the progeny included both tall and dwarf plants in a definite ratio. Three-fourths of the plants in the F2 hybrid were tall, while one-fourth was dwarf. Mendel also noticed that the plants did not show blending or mixing. That is, none of them were of in-between height. Once again, to confirm his observations, Mendel conducted experiments with other traits. His results were confirmed when he found that both the parental traits were expressed in the F2 hybrid in the proportion 3 is to 1. Moreover, the contrasting traits did not show any blending in either the F1 or F2 stages. From his experiments, Mendel inferred that something was being stably passed on from parents to progeny over successive generations. This was the reason the dwarfness that had disappeared in the F1 hybrid had reappeared in the F2 hybrid. Mendel called this something factors, which are known as genes today. Genes are represented by letters for our convenience. The trait expressed in the F1 hybrid is denoted by a capital letter, while the other trait is denoted by a small letter. As all plants obtained in the cross between tall and dwarf plants were tall in the F1 hybrid, the tall trait is denoted by capital T and the dwarf by small t. Here, capital T and small t are alleles of each other. That is, they are a pair of genes representing two alternative forms of the same character, namely the height of the plant. Therefore, pairs of alleles for height in plants would be capital T, capital T, capital T, small t, and small t, small t. Here, capital T, capital T, capital T, small t, and small t, small t are genotypes of the plant, and the descriptive terms tall and dwarf are the phenotypes. The alleles in the genotype capital T, capital T, and small t, small t are similar or 
homozygous. While the alleles in the genotype, capital T, small t, are dissimilar or heterozygous. Moreover, Mendel also called the character that expresses itself in the F1 hybrid dominant and the one that failed to express itself recessive. Therefore, through his experiments with tall and short pea plants, Mendel found that the character of tallness was more potent over the character of dwarfness in the F1 hybrid and that both tallness and dwarfness appeared in a 3 is to 1 ratio in the F2 hybrid. Mendel called this the law of dominance. The law states that in a monohybrid pure line cross between parents with contrasting traits, only one form of the trait, that is, the dominant form, appears in the F1 generation and both forms appear in a ratio of 3 is to 1 in the F2 generation. Also from his experiments, Mendel observed that the recessive parental trait was expressed without any blending in the F2 hybrid. After verifying the results of the crossings, it was found that the segregation of alleles is a random process and the chances of a gamete containing either allele is 50%. This is known as the law of segregation and it states that alleles do not show any blending but instead segregate from each other during gamete formation into different gametes. Both the characters governed by these alleles are recovered in the F2 generation, though one of the characters is not displayed in the F1 generation. A diagram that is very useful in predicting the outcome of a particular cross or breeding experiment is Punet Square, which was devised by British geneticist Reginald C. Punet. Punet Square is a graphical representation that helps calculate the probability of all possible genotypes of the progeny in a genetic cross. Let's take a look at how Mendel's experiments are denoted using the Punet Square. In the F1 generation, Mendel crossed homozygous dominant capital T capital T parent with a homozygous recessive small t small t parent. The gametes produced by the parents are written on two sides of the square and the capital T small t progeny produced by the fertilization of the gametes is written within the square. Though the genotype of the F1 hybrid is capital T small t, its phenotypic character is tall. Plants of the genotype capital T small t produced by the F1 hybrid are then self-pollinated to produce gametes of the genotype capital T and small t in equal proportion. From the square, you can easily see that the pollen grains of genotype capital T have a 50% chance of pollinating the eggs of the genotype capital T as well as small t during fertilization. Similarly, pollen grains of genotype small t have a 50% chance of pollinating eggs of genotype capital T as well as small t during fertilization. Thus, random fertilization results in zygotes that are of genotypes capital T capital T, capital T small t and small t small t. From the Punet square, you can also see that one-fourth of the random fertilizations have led to capital T capital T, half has led to capital T small t, and finally, one-fourth has led to small t small t. Therefore, the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. And as three-fourths of the plants are tall and one-fourth dwarf, 
The phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1. The ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 or 1 by 4 is to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 4 of capital T capital T is to capital T small t is to small t small t is condensable to a binomial expression of the form ax plus by the whole square. The expression has the gametes bearing the genes capital T or small t in equal frequency of 1 by 2. This expression can be expanded as shown. Thus, we can calculate genotypic ratios using mathematical probability. However, by just looking at the phenotype of a plant, it is not possible to predict its genotype. For example, you cannot predict whether a tall plant from the F1 or F2 hybrid is homozygous dominant. That is, capital T, capital T, or is heterozygous dominant. That is, capital T, small t. Therefore, a test cross or a cross between individuals of the F1 generation with a homozygous recessive parent is carried out to determine whether the genotype of the individual in question is homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant. Thus, through his monohybrid cross experiments, Mendel proposed the laws of dominance and segregation.